What's going on guys? Today I'm back with the Nvidia Shield Android TV and I wanted to test out 10 Sega Saturn games using Yaba Sanshiro. I'm not going to be using RetroArch even though there's a couple cores built in. Uh, my favorite personally for PC is Manafin, but it doesn't work well on the Shield. I find that the standalone Yaba Sanshiro app works much better. So I've done several tests on the Shield. It's one of my favorite devices for emulation and for just media consumption in general. I'll leave a link to a playlist in the description. Let's get right into it. So in this video, like I mentioned, I'm going to be testing 10 games. We're just going to run through them real quick. I'm going to do about 35 to 45 seconds of each of these games. Box art will be listed on the right hand of the screen so you know which game is playing at any given time. And I also have the FPS up in the top left hand corner. Now this emulator is far from perfect. Like I said, Manafin on PC is probably the best you're going to get. But if you're using an ARM chip, I think this is the best we're going to get here. I'll be back at the end of the video to give you my thoughts on emulating Saturn on the shield.
So while I'm here, I figured I'd show you the performance of Manafin on the Shield. This is known as the Saturn Beetle Core in RetroArch. And it's not great because this is a very CPU intensive core. It actually just uses the CPU to emulate Saturn. And it works really great on a lot of the PCs that I've tested. It's actually one of the most accurate Saturn emulators out there. But the CPU in the Shield just isn't powerful enough to push this core. And basically every game that I've tested with this core works just like this, 25 to 30 FPS. So if you want to emulate Sega Saturn on the Shield, your best bet is Yabase and Shiro. It is a free app from the App Store. You can download it directly on the Shield. This emulator doesn't require a BIOS, but you can add one, and I suggest adding one for better compatibility. Just import your bin and cues, and you can start playing Sega Saturn on your NVIDIA Shield TV. Another great thing about this emulator is it does offer upscaling. Now, a lot of these games are probably going to be a little laggy if you want to upscale to X4 on the Shield, but X2 worked mainly on everything that I tested. I did encounter a couple hiccups with Fighters Mega Mix when I tried to upscale it, so I just brought it back down to the stock resolution. But overall, it works great on the Shield, and the Shield itself is a great emulation machine. It's much more powerful than a Raspberry Pi. As you just saw, we played Sega Saturn on here. N64 works flawlessly, and you can even play GameCube games. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Don't forget to check out that playlist in the description. Got some N64, some Dreamcast, PSP, GameCube, and I'm also going to leave links to Amazon if you're interested in picking up a Shield. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.